I have this vision of the life sciences. It's kind of like an amoeba, an ever-growing amoeba. And there are these little pseudopods of specialties that emerge, and the thing keeps growing and expanding. The interdisciplinary opportunities that are now occurring here between biology, chemistry, physics, engineering, math, uh, information technology. It requires a whole new way of thinking. And the beauty is that Dartmouth has not only embraced that, but has created really a, perhaps a new paradigm, a new way to teach. And, and the facility is uh, fundamental to making that happen. What characterizes the life sciences now is the speed of change, the rate of development. That is unprecedented. We need faculty who are creating that new knowledge as well as teaching it to be able to give our students the kind of education we think is important. Well, my lab is really interested in how plants take up iron from the soil and then how they transport it to the parts of plants that people eat. And we're interested in that because half the world suffers from iron deficiency. So what we're trying to do is understand how do plants take up iron, why isn't there more iron, for example, in rice. Half the world eats rice every day. And so by understanding the basic biology, we're hoping we can improve then these plants as good sources of nutrients. We've been working in this area for uh, 20 years and we've made uh, quite a bit of progress. And of course our big goal now is to make rice a better source of iron. When I go to meetings and you meet nutritionists and you meet economists from these developing countries and you see the urgency uh, of solving some of these problems, then I feel like I'm really possibly contributing in some small way uh, to solving this. You know, they show the same thing okay. as the cadmium isotope, where the food is definitely coming from the water column as opposed to in, in the sediment. So, you know, that's a really important thing. It's a big problem. It's a global problem. The, the fact that mercury is, is in aquatic systems all over the world, is, is, uh, it's, it affects everyone. What we're interested in is how that mercury goes from being in the water in these uh, aquatic ecosystems into the food chain. I think what I hope my work accomplishes is is making a contribution to the knowledge that we need to protect our environment and as a result protect human health. Um, our environment is integrally linked to our, to our own health and so uh, I feel that doing research on an environmental contaminant is in some way trying to uh, make that happen. Alzheimer's, Parkinson's disease, Huntington's, Lou Gehrig's disease, macular degeneration. These are all neuronal degenerative diseases that are affecting our aging population. In my laboratory, we use the fruit fly, Drosophila melanogaster, as a model system. And we use it to try and understand neuronal and retinal degeneration. At a fundamental level, we're trying to understand how and why neurons die. Cell death is a natural phenomenon that occurs. I mean, cells die in our body all the time. But what happens in neuronal degenerative diseases is this same process of cell death occurs in these neurons when it shouldn't happen. What we are trying to understand in our laboratory is how these normal processes get triggered in neurons when they're not supposed to get triggered. Any medical advance, any cure or treatment is typically based on 10, maybe even 20 years of basic research. And that's why this particular building is, you know, is so important. What we're funding here, all the scientists in this building are doing basic research. 
mean, this is where, you know, the money and the future of medical science or of agricultural science, you know, this is where it lies, is funding this kind of research. Our education here really has to rely on people who are doing the research as it unfolds and bringing our students into that process. Not only so that they know what's happening at the cutting edge, but they understand what it means to create science. We have big questions about the environment, we have big questions about sustainability, we have questions about food, we have questions about health. Those all require a lot of different disciplines coming together. So for us, the life sciences is really the perfect description of what we're trying to do in this building.